Hello Nidorinars and Nidorinars, it is King Nidor here and we're coming today from Fuchsia City where the Royal Gators are looking to get back on top of the leaderboard after just falling out of that top spot in the last match. Whereas the Striaton Greens, if they lose here today, they will mathematically be unable to make it into a leader's eight position. So let us know in the comments below who you think will win. Will it be the poison types or will it be the grass types? So let's go. But that is right, the Striating Greens have everything relying on this matchup as they start it with Floor, just and Brute Bonnet. It will be Gudra and Monk starting out for the future Royal Gators. And you might be wondering, why is Gudra, why is Floor, just why are these two both appearing in this matchup? And that's because they are the Terrastal Pokemon for these two sides. Gudra taking on the Terrastal form for the Poison type side. It will be Floor, just taking on the Grass type because it is not actually a grass type Pokemon, although it really looks like one. It is a fairy type Pokemon. But as I said, the grass types need to win this matchup. They are in 18th place. They've only had three wins this season. And if they lose here, they will be unable to get enough victories before the end of the season to make it into a leader's eight position as we get the ingrain from Gudra. So it is going to plant those roots really early on to make sure it restores that health. But Floor just is going to go with the sand here. Storm. Super effective on both Gudra and Muck. That is exactly what the striking greens need. And Muck is left with the burn. This is going to cut into its attacks there as well as do continuous damage. And the ingrain is also being performed by Brute Bonnet. Copying exactly what Gudra did. It is going to plant those roots, and now Muck is going to go for the Super Power on the floor. Just not a great hit. It should have gone for Brute Bonnet, capitalizing on that part dark typing as those physical stats of Muck do get lowered. And there is that ingrain coming into play. Now, the Fusion Royal Gators did start the round on top of the leaderboard. So if they get the victory here today, they will move back into that top spot as Gudra with the drill run on the floor. Just not very effective. Floor just tanks that move and it is going to respond with the foul play. Continuing to go for Muck. Gets a great hit there and Brute Bonnet follows it up with the flatter. It's going to let the burn do the damage here as Gudra does get the special attack boost from that flatter, but it will be left confused after what Brute Bonnet just did. And Muck is going to go with the Moonlight, a very clever play. It needed to have its health restored because you have to think that burn probably would have eliminated it from this matchup. And there is Gudra continuing to have its health restored from those roots that it planted earlier on as Muck feels the effects of that burn. Gudra and trying to shake off this confusion after the flatter and it is successful as it goes with the liquidation on the floor just another not very effective attack there on the grass type floor just who does respond with the circle throw this is going to send muck back to the bench after that not very effective move and keep in mind that it does have that burn status condition as out comes quillfish for the future royal gators being dragged out onto the field and with that intimidate ability it would lower the attack stat of the grass types on the field, but that flower availability, flower availability prevented it from happening as the Chloroblast is not very effective on Gudra from Brute Bonnet, who gets a great deal of recoil damage there, and Gudra is gonna have its health restored thanks to those roots, and so will Brute Bonnet after taking its first damage in this matchup, but from itself, in fact, is Quillfish going for its first move of the match, goes with the main look onto Floor just here, so it is going to make it so Floor just can no longer escape. Not that it was looking to run away from this match. Gudra is still in a confused state. Needs to shake it off and it is successful going with the Psycho Cut. Now on the Floor just now, that would have been ineffective against Brute Bonnet as we get the String Shot here from Floor just. This is going to greatly lower the speeds that of the two Poison type Pokemon on the field as Brute Bonnet is going to go with the role play, but it is going to fail, unfortunately. But what won't fail is Brute Bonnet having its health restored yet again. And the same goes for Gudra. Those early planted roots are coming into play as Floor just now with the speed of inch goes for the grass knot. This won't be very effective here as it goes for the pseudo legendary. Still gets a good hit there though. But Gudra's Gilly ability would have lowered the speed of Floor just if it wasn't for that flower veil as the wish now for Brute Bonnet. And it must be wishing for the victory to keep their season hopes alive as the double hit on the floor just is a single critical hit floor just is eliminated from this matchup and the future real gators get the first one on the board here it only took one hit to take the terrestrial pokemon out of this matchup and gudra has snapped out of its confusion as well and it is going to try and go for the reflect type but unfortunately that does 
Failure does not copy the typing of Brute Bonnet, who is a grass dark type. And Gudra, remember, is now a poison type because it is the Thrasher Pokemon for the future. Royal Gate is no longer that dragon typing. As out comes Go Go for the Striaton Greens and immediately with the speed of Ange going for the Psy Beam. And this will be super effective on the Gudra, who is able to hold on. Brute Bonnet looking to follow it up though. Goes for the Circle Throw. We already saw this earlier on, but Overquill is able to avoid that attack. And Overquill is going to go with the Healing Wish. But this is actually going to pay off. This is a huge risky play because Overcool has just taken itself out of this matchup, but now we know Muck is going to come back out into its place. Before that happens, though, the Toxic Thread from Gudra is going to slow down Gogo and also leave it Poison, but the Healing Wish will come into play because when Muck lands back out on the field, it will have its health fully restored and be cured of that burn that it received. So Overcool has taken itself out of this matchup. Clearly the Fisher will get to see Muck as a bigger component in this match. We'll see if that actually plays out well for the Poison types though. And here is Muck having its health restored and as I said, being cured of that burn as that healing which has come true. Now Brute Bonnet is going to go for the Reflect. It is going to make the Striking Green stronger against physical type moves. But Muck looking to respond, going with the Howl. It is going to boost its attack to try and combat that Reflect. Also boosting the attack of Gudra is Gogo with the Explosion. And Gogo has taken itself out of this matchup. It did not want to be suffering from that poisoning clue. But it is also successful in taking Gudra out of this match. So the playing field is still level 4 Pokemon remaining on both sides as Brute Bonnet continues to have its health restored from those planted roots. And out comes Muck for the Fusion Royal Gators. There are two Mucks on the field because that was an Alolan Muck. And out comes Rillaboom for the Striking Greens. Immediately going for a Blizzard. And Muck is able to avoid that attack. I don't know which one, but both Mucks are actually able to avoid that attack. So it doesn't matter as Brute Bonnet now. Going for the Hammer Arm onto the Alolan Muck. Capitalizing on that part dark typing that it has. Brute Bonnet does lower its speed in the process. But the Alolan Muck responds with the Lash Out. On the Brute Bonnet, not very effective, so Brute Bonnet is able to tank that hit and it's followed up by the Cantonian Muck going with the Venoshock, super effective there on the Rillaboom, gets a great hit. As Brute Bonnet, that ingrain has, is coming to play so well for it so far in this matchup, and Rillaboom with the extreme speed on the, the Cantonian Muck who holds on but barely as the Alolan Muck is going to go for the Bug Buzz on the Rillaboom, and Rillaboom is eliminated with that super effective move. Now the Cantonian Muck is going to go for the role play, but unfortunately that does fail, and this allows Brute Bonnet to go for the pound onto the Cantonian, uh, sorry, the Alolan Muck. If it had gone for the Cantonian Muck, it would have gotten the elimination here as the future Rogators have taken the lead, and out comes Scovillain for the Striating Greens. Scovillain immediately with the Poison Jab onto the Alolan Muck is not very effective. The, the Alolan Muck is going to respond with the Liquidation, capitalizing on that part fire typing of Scovillain. Very good play as it's followed up by the Cantonian Muck going for the payback now on the Brute Bonnet. Yet another not very effective attack on Brute Bonnet who responds with the eerie spell, but it won't affect the Alolan Muck because it is immune to psychic type attacks. Brute Bonnet should know better being part dark type. Now we get the poison sting from Scovillain, which is going to eliminate the Cantonian Muck from this matchup. So now when I say Muck in this matchup, I mean the Alolan Muck. Hopefully you're keeping up with me here as that. Poison touch ability will go on to the Alolan Muck, thanks to that power of alchemy ability that it has as it goes for the Shadow Claw on the Scovillain, gets an okay hit, and Brute Bonnet is going to go for the Triple Axel on the Muck, it gets the first hit, and then the first one is a critical hit, and it is only a double Axel because that will get the elimination and take the Alolan Muck out of this match as well, which has leveled the playing field. No, sorry, it has not leveled the playing field, it's actually just put the Striating Greens in front, I got myself confused here. With those two mucks on the field, I didn't know what was going on, but Glamora has now come out onto the field and it will be joined by Toxtricity in its low key form and immediately Glamora with the skill swap, but it does fail. The Striding Greens have got the lead though as Scovillain is going to go for the Seismic Toss onto Toxtricity, gets a great hit there. Toxtricity is going to respond though with the Lick onto Brute Bonnet, very minimal damage and not very effective there onto Brute Bonnet, but it is left paralyzed. This is going to slow it down and it might be unable to move, which is great because it has been in this matchup since the start as it goes for the Aura Sphere on a Glamora. Gets a really good hit there. And there's Brute Bonnet still having its health restored. The future Royal Gators know that they need to try and make it so Brute Bonnet can't move as the Encore from Glamora is going to fail. And this will allow 
Scoville and to try and capitalize as it goes with the Torch Song on the Glamora. Not very effective due to that part rock typing, but Scoville does get the special attack boost as Toxtricity responds for its side with the stored power going for Scoville in here. Doesn't do a great deal of damage, chipping away, but Brute Bond is unable to move due to its paralysis. This is great for the future, future Royal Gators because this will open the door for them to try and capitalize. And Glamora is going to attempt to do so as it goes with the Zing Zap on the Brute Bonnet. Not very effective yet again, even with that critical hit, Brute Bonnet tanks that move. And Scoville with the lunge going for Glamora, not very effective, gets an okay hit though, and it is going to lower the attack of Glamora. Toxtricity responds though with the Retaliate on the Brute Bonnet, and Brute Bonnet continues to tank these hits as it goes with the Rock Slide, hitting both Glamora and Toxtricity. Glamora is able to barely hold on though, the Striking Greens are in full control right now. And Glamora is going to go for the Sludge, finally getting a super effective hit on Brute Bonnet and the Elimination. Brute Bonnet has been taken out of this matchup, but Toxtricity is going to follow it up with the Frost Breath on the Scoville, gets the critical hit as always with that move, and completes the huge play just like that. The Future Royal Gators have taken the lead, and out comes a Bomber Snow with that Snow Warning ability. It will start to snow over the field, and Glamora is going to go with the Razor Shell. This won't be very effective, but Bomber Snow really withstanding that move, but it does have its defense that Lord and Toxtricity could capitalize, except it goes with the power swap instead. So they switch all their changes to their attack and special attack stats as the acid armor here from a Bomber Snow is going to give it a defense boost here. Bomber Snow only has a base 75 defense as the gust onto a Bomber Snow, super effective there from Glamora. Toxtricity looking to follow it up, going with the Icicle Crash on the part Ice type. So Bomber Snow tanks that move, but it's flinched. It has flinched and Glamora looking to capitalize, going with the Bug Bite, chipping away here at a Bomber Snow with that super effective move. Not that it looked like, but it takes its Leper Berry. As the Bomber Snow is all by itself, having to contend with these two poison type Pokemon, and now Toxtricity with the Dragon Claw still chipping away to Bomber Snow, who is going to respond with the Smog going for Toxtricity. Not very effective. Toxtricity tanks that hit even after it being a critical hit. And Glamora now with the Spin Out. And a Bomber Snow is eliminated with that super effective move. The Fusion Royal Gators have come from behind to keep their eight game winning streak alive. And now it is a nine game winning streak. And with that, the Fusion Royal Gators will move themselves back on top of the leaderboard. But to get their 10th win in a row, they have to defeat the Olivine Carbons. I cannot wait for that one. Whereas the Striaton Greens cannot make the championship series, they will not be able to qualify for a Leaders 8 position, and next round they will be taking on the Pastoral Cascade, but until then, Nidorinos, Nidorinos, thank you so much for watching, let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on Pit, if you enjoyed what we saw, please leave a like, share, subscribe, but always remember, you are awesome.